Well, now the latest on a scary afternoon for patients at a medical clinic. Investigators confirmed that a gas leak in a pipe forced hundreds of people from the building. It happened at the OSU CarePoint Medical Center off Leonard Avenue. Fox 28 reporter Rob Wells is live in East Columbus with an update. Rob? Yolanda, Columbus fire crews tell us that that scene has been cleared behind us for the evening and everything is back to normal. Luckily in all this, they say that nobody was ever hurt. In the meantime, Columbia gas crews spent the evening airing out the building all after a day and an afternoon that many we met say they won't soon forget. Emergency crews say the call for help at the OSU CarePoint outpatient clinic came just before 1.30 Monday afternoon after people complained of a gas odor inside. Moments later, nearly 300 patients and staff were told to get out. We were walking up to the building. We were about to walk in, and uh, one of the nurses told us not to go in because it was a gas leak, and I have a baby, so I'm glad we weren't in there. Emergency responders say they detected high levels of gas and took no chances with patients. It's harmful to the people that are there uh, for inhalation, uh, just breathing it in. OSU officials say the outpatient clinic, once a VA hospital, now provides everything from minor surgeries to respiratory treatment. Well, first. I thought it was just when they said it was not a drill because at first we're thinking, oh, you know, no big deal. Many patients that were evacuated were taken by bus to other facilities to continue with treatment. Patients that we did evacuate that were on oxygen, we did take down to the University Hospital East just for their comfort. Others are trying to figure out when to come back after the afternoon scare. This was my day off for this. I took the day off, you know, so now I got to figure out when I'm going to reschedule it. That is a common concern tonight. We heard a lot of that today. Meanwhile, OSU officials say that if all goes well, that building right behind us should reopen about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Staff will be reaching out to patients to either confirm or reschedule all those Tuesday appointments. We are live in East Columbus tonight. Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.